hi everyone, this is Sean, and you, you totally need to subscribe, okay? And, and ring the little bell so you get uh, notices of new videos, okay? Yeah, sorry about that. My daughters told me I needed to do that, and I instantly regret it. I apologize. I'm sorry. Anyway, today I am talking about the present progressive tense. This is a tense that's used in Spanish to describe things that are happening now and continuing on into the future. In English, an example of this would be something like, I am reading. Okay, I'm reading now and I'm continuing to do so, all right? Doesn't indicate when it's going to stop, just that it is continuing on. Now, this translates really, really well uh, between the two languages. I mean, the, they have the same idea. First thing they're going to do is, in Spanish, is they're going to use the verb estar, to be, okay? So choose the form of the verb estar based on who's doing the action. If I say, I am doing something, I would use the uh, estoy. If I'm saying, you're doing something, I'd say, estás. He or she, esta, we, estamos, and so on and so forth. Okay, and then we have to use this thing over here called a present participle. Okay, I know that's a fun thing to think about. The present participle in English, and in, in using present, uh, present progressive tense in English, is kind of like the ing form of the verb. Running, uh, jumping, uh, studying, working, okay? And the way we do that in Spanish is we're going to take the root of the verb, Okay, so whatever that root is, if you take the verb, for example, um, est, uh, estudiar, okay, we drop the AR, we're left with estudi, okay, and then because it's an AR verb, we're going to add these letter, letters, A-N-D-O, okay, so the present participle of estudiar would be estudiando. For an ER or IR verb, we add the letters I-E-N-D-O. So for example, if I wanted to say I am eating, the verb to eat is comer, I would drop the ER, I'm left with com, that's the root, okay? And then I would add I-E-N-D-O, comiendo, all right? Now, here's how we put it all together. We choose the form of the verb estar, if I want to say, let's say, I am eating, okay? Estoy, I am, and then comiendo, estoy comiendo, means I am eating. Now, the fun thing about this is that once you've got the present participle, you don't have to change it, okay? In fact, you shouldn't change it. Uh, if I wanted to switch who's doing the action, I still use the same present participle. That part won't change. So if I wanted to say, we are eating, what I would change, instead of I am eating, estoy, I would change it to estamos, we are, estamos comiendo, we are eating. Okay? If I wanted to say, they are eating, I'd say, están comiendo. Okay? So the present participle, once you've got it, you're fine. Okay? You don't have to change it at all. All right? Let's try an AR verb. Let's try, like, a trabajar. I want to say, hey, he is working. I say, he is, está. Now, the root of trabajar, once I drop that AR, is trabaj, okay? And then I add an A-N-D-O, trabajando. So the whole thing together, he is working, would be, está trabajando. If I wanted to say, we are working, estamos trabajando. That's all there is to it. That's the present progressive tense. Yeah, the present progressive tense. Now, I know what you're thinking. But wait, Senor Mason, are there any irregular present participles? <sighs> yeah, unfortunately, there are a few. Verbs like uh, morir, to die, instead of moriendo, changes to muriendo. The O changes to a U. I don't know why. Don't, I didn't invent it. Don't, don't look at me that way. Okay? Um, and then like leer, L-E. Okay, so you get the verb leer, you drop the ER, you add I-E-N-D-O, well, they don't like that. So instead of putting an I-E-N-D-O, they change it to a Y, leyendo. There are a couple of verbs like that. But for the most part, your present participles are pretty happy uh, parts of speech. You don't have to worry about them that much. Okay, that's the present progressive tense. Good luck!